Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday Hockey Break. Today we're going to do one of my favorites and hopefully one of yours as well. Based on feedback, this uh, does seem to be one of your uh, guys' favorites. As far as breaks go and stuff like that, you guys like when I do my hodgepodge boxes, formerly known as my boombox, whether it's the hockey, baseball, multi-sport, whatever it is. I kind of rebranded it and made my new own one here. If you guys didn't check out the initial video, check that out on a previous Turn Back Tuesday. But we're going to do my ultra cheesy, ultra corny GTH box, which is Grown the Hobby, obviously, as the channel uh, says. But this is going to be a cool one, guys. It's going to be one of those really cool ones with uh, a lot of high potential and stuff like that, expensive packs. We're turning things back to 1516. That's right, looking for the guy in the background, Connor McDavid. Bust this bad boy open, show you what we're talking about. We've got our customary one touch. And then our packs, I'm going to pull them out one at a time, show you guys. We've got full force to start us off. These are all 15, 16 once again, guys. Portfolio. OPG Platinum. Canada Juniors. Probably the most expensive of the box, the Trilogy. Fleer Showcase. SPX. Flagship stuff. We've got Series 2. That's a hobby pack. Then we got Series 1. That's a hobby pack. And last but not least, we got champs. So there you go. Not a bad box as far as packs go, that's for sure. Uh, some really, really insane potential lies in here. Let's just see if we can actually make it happen, though. That's kind of the thing. Uh, I'm just kind of ordering these here for a little bit of semblance here for myself because, uh, let's see. I'll do it like this, 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 this. Yeah, we'll do it like this. All right. So let's start with Canada Juniors. Hopefully get lucky to get a patch or an auto. I pulled the base McDavid in here, and you guys can see. Hey, I think we have a hit. Uh, I was going to say a big old decoy, but there's a thick card to the left of that. So we do have a hit. Starting things off hot. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's hope that it is you-know-who. Um, and actually, I think that's going to be the second card. So I'm going to pull from the back. I'll show you guys this Travis Konechny, which you guys probably saw anyway when we opened that up. Then we got our big old thick decoy. Get that out of the way. We got a base of Jocelyn Rock. And yeah, we definitely have a hit behind this Caroline, or I'm sorry, Caroline Oulette. And it is, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. No, it is not, but it is a Graham Knot. So there you go. Yes, it is a Graham Knot. So it is a Canada Jerseys card there. Not numbered or anything like that, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, you guys can check out the back of that. There we go. We start with a hit, so I'll take it. We got a hit right off the bat. That's a good start. It's not the man we were looking for, but that's okay. Hopefully Mr. Graham not brings us a little bit of luck here as we continue on. Let's go. Oh, boy. Let's do Portfolio. Let's do Portfolio up next. Let's see if we can get a little bit of luck here. Uh, no thick cards, but we do have something that looks like a different card stock. Try to get that to focus really quick for you guys. You see that little bit of different card stuck there. Third card from the right. No clue what that is. Johnny Carlson starts us off. Claude Giroux. Kyle Turris. And that other card stuck. Uh, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, I pulled one of these on the other ones. It's like a black and white photo. Let's just hope. Eh, it's a wire photo. It's Taylor Hall. So there you go. Not a rookie or anything like that. Those are wire photos. Roman Yossi. Nazem Kadri, TJ Brody, and last but not least, uh, Mikel Bodker. So nothing too, too insane in that pack either. Let's do our flagship stuff next. Let's say. So let's do Series 2 first, looking for that McDavid Young Guns canvas. That's probably the big one out of here, uh, which you guys can kind of see. I know it's out of focus right now. We're going in and out of focus. Back left card, that's what we're looking for. You can get some other really good ones, though, in here as far as Young Guns. You can get Jack Eichel and stuff like that. And I see, based on that white, we got a Portraits. Let's see what we get. So uh, Jacob Silverberg starts us off. Marco Scandella, Cam Talbot, Tevu Teravainen. And it is, hey, it's a good one. Connor Hellbuck, he's been following me around here a little bit. I've got quite a few of his rookies I've pulled during my McDavid quest uh, as far as hunting cards and stuff. But there you go. Rookie portraits of Connor Hellbuck. All right, Sean Couturier, Cody Eakin, and Daniel Sedin. 15-16 Series 1. This is a hobby pack. It's insane. These, honest to gosh, they're, they're selling for like $35, $40 a pack, which is, pff, my gosh, does that blow my mind? So you're not going to see that on here 
very much longer because I am not paying those kind of prices. Um, these ones I've had for a little bit, so I did not pay that, but yikes. Uh, and especially considering we got a, another portraits in here, so not even a Young Guns. But uh, you can get the McDavid uh, portrait. That uh, that would be nice, uh, you know, and that's got some value to it. But uh, Brian Campbell, Gabe Landeskog, Taylor Hall, and our portraits is OEL. OEL, it's a base portrait there. Louis Erickson, Kyle Turris, RJ Umberger, and Jonathan Duran. So, yeah, there goes a quick, you know, 40 bucks or whatever and stuff that those are now. Just crazy. 15, 16 champs. Love this a lot. Out of a 24 pack hobby box, you get one auto, a couple of jersey cards. So, nothing thick in there. So, hopefully, maybe we get the auto. I mean, I doubt it, but that would be really cool. You get silver parallels, gold parallels. I mean, we're looking for the big rookie, and I think we have something gold. We got a gold parallel. Let's hope for you know who. Real deal, James Neal starts us off, though. Riley Shane, Henrik Sedin in the gold. Alexander Barkov, so unfortunately, it's just a base kind of gold. I'll show you guys what the backs of those look like. Nothing crazy, just the same as the others. It's just gold boarding on the front. P.A. Parento and Marion Gabrick, so nothing really crazy in that pack whatsoever. Going to full force. Never opened any of this back in 1516. Only been getting these loose packs here to throw in to... Uh, our GTH boxes, but uh, so obviously I don't have a McDavid. You can get one in here. That's the whole reason I threw it in here. I'd love to pull one. Ryan Getzlaff, OEL, Corey Schneider, Pecorini, and Jacob Voracek. So nothing really crazy doing in that pack either. Let's do our Platinum next. Uh, you guys know the deal with these. Out of the 20 packs, you get one auto per box. Uh, there's tons of different parallels out there. I'd take a McDavid and anything in this. I mean, they're, the prices on these have gone way up. Got to remember to, for future, I think I said this in the last time I did this, but I got to remember to turn the pack over, not to ruin the marquee rookie. So Shane Prince is marquee rookie in here. You always get a marquee rookie. It's always on the back. Looks like we have a rainbow in here behind this Tevu Taravainen, and it is Felix Potvin. It's a legend, so that's pretty cool. It's a legend uh, rainbow there. Felix Potman, and you guys can clearly see Rainbow, which are never numbered. We got a retro, Jacob Vorchek, and there's that Shane Prince, Marky Rookie. So not bad, I like that Potman. Uh, let's do the SPX, I guess, next. I mean, these are the three big packs, if we're being honest. Uh, can't tell if we have a thick card in there or not. Let's see. Maybe once we get this out of here. Uh, we do have a thick card. Yep, and it is a card. So, fingers crossed. And Jamie Ben starts us off. Johnny Gaudreau. I'm going to pull from the back, show you guys the other base cards. Carey Price is a good base card, obviously. Uh, Blake Wheeler. And, and that's actually it. This is a thick card. I want to say, is this a UD Black or something like that? Maybe throwing? I, I, I don't know. Um,. I feel like the front of the card is the other way around because I can feel a divot in it, sort of. So let's turn it this way and let's see. It's out of 499 and it is a rookie. 153 doesn't strike me as a yeah, it didn't strike me as a McDavid, but hey, it's a Jake Vertan, and I actually had it backwards the whole time. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Heck yeah. Auto jersey. Jake Vertanen. And that's a sticker auto, but who cares? Very nice. Heck yeah. I'll take that all day. So Jake for Tan, nice auto jersey rookie there. Uh, dual jersey, not the quad, but it's a dual jersey auto rookie. Very, very nice. I like that card a lot, and that's a nice little clear glass kind of window, as you guys can see there on the right. Nice, nice hit, honestly. That is a nice hit. So no Connor McDavid in that pack, but that's a, that's a good hit nonetheless, uh, for sure. All right, let's do our Fleer Showcase. This is, uh, you know, these are just crazy potential packs. I mean, you get one auto patch per box. I can tell you right now we have a thick decoy, so we definitely did not get the auto patch. And unfortunately, that corner is just, look at that corner of that Tyler Johnson. Yikes. Uh, hopefully, it's only that card, and hopefully, uh, we was, we're going to have one of those. I can't remember what those are called. It is a rookie. Coming up, though, uh, it's like rookie premieres or something. There's no jersey, no auto going to be on it. It's just a numbered card, though, it should be. Henrik Lundqvist, Jumbo Joe. That hit's actually behind, so I'm going to pull from the back. There's that Tyler Johnson. Uh, my gosh, you can't even see it with that font. Derek Stepan. 
thick decoy. And then is a premier. It is not Connor McDavid, but it is a Connor Brickley. And wow, that would have been nice. Because uh, look at that numbering out of 99. Number 9 of 99. That would have been cool to get a McDavid there. Connor Brickley, though, nonetheless, numbered a rookie there. I can't remember exactly, like I said, what that is. Oh, Fleer Ultra. That's it. It's an Ultra rookie. So, man, yeah, there you go. They're still not too bad. Not too bad. We're down to our last pack here. This is the kind of the big one for sure. I mean, these sell for, holy heck, it's just crazy. I think like 60 bucks a pack roughly anymore. I mean, it's just, it's nuts. Never pulled a McDavid uh, rookie out of trilogy whatsoever. Uh, in any, I mean, there's a lot of different types out there. I've never pulled one. I'd like to change that today. We're not going to get a, you know, jersey patch or anything like that. It's a big old decoy. But let's hope for something really big. It's going to be behind that Mike Loot. Uh, whatever the hit of this pack is. So from the back, Gabe Landeskog, Jonathan Quick. Uh, this should be our decoy, and it is. Our final pack of the break and our hit of this pack. Number 24 is not going to do it. And unfortunately, it's just one of those kind of based on career, the you know, some type of career stat that they number these out of. So it's out of 604, 492, 604. For 604 career games played at that point for Yuri Hoodler, so unfortunately that is not a big hit by any standards. So there we go, guys. Still not a bad break. I mean, no Connor Mac Daddies or anything like that today, but uh, we did get some nice hits. You know, autos, uh, you know, numbered cards, things like that. Not not bad. I will take that all day long. In all honesty, probably the hit of this break for me as far as I'm concerned is that Jake Vertan, and that's pretty cool from SPX. I like that card a lot. All right, guys, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night on this Turn Back Tuesday, and we will see you all next time.